Assalamualaikum, how's going all? Today I am again here to teach you something new, which is Firebase Image Carousel. Before starting, let's see our application overview. In this application, we have beautiful slideshow with Firebase images and text. This application didn't use any packages for carousel or slideshow. Images and text will be updated continuously. Let's add one more document in Cloudfire Store and let's see what happened in this application. UI updating instantly. By the end of this video, you will learn this Firebase image carousel feature. So, watch the full video to have a better idea and you can apply on your own application. So, let's get going. I am created a project to implement carousel or slideshow. In that project, we have two files. In main.dart file, I am initialized Firebase app. If you don't know how to set up Firebase in Flutter application, I am put the video link in the video description. You can check out from there. And then I am created a stateful widget, file store slideshow. In home property, I am added that widget. In pubspec.yml file, I am added Firebase auth, Firebase core, cloud file store packages. Its body property, I'm adding Stream Builder, which helps automatically manage the stream's state and disposal of the stream whenever it's no longer used within your app. In Builder function, I'm adding two parameters, context and async snapshot. Async snapshot to get current state. It has four states, connect state dot active, connect state dot done, connect state dot none, connect state dot waiting. And then I am adding stream. Now let's create the stream function. In that function, I am adding a slides variable. In that, I am specified stores collection and added a map to map the documents. And now add this in stream property. Stream Builder doesn't know it's a stream until we make it stream, so let's make it stream. As you can see, the declaration QueryDB isn't referenced, so let's make it referenced. I am adding init state to make it referenced. In builder function, I am adding if condition. If snap has error, will be written error message. If snap waiting state, will be written circular progress indicator. Otherwise, will be written page view builder. Its item builder function, I am added context and index parameters. I am adding item count property. To get items length, I will add line. I am added a list and then slide list variable. That will convert all fields into a list. Here we will return the build story page widget. Let's create the widget. It will be return container. In that I am added decoration, border radius and image property. 
in network image i am added image field in text widget i am added title field okay now let's create image and title field in cloud firestore In parameter, I am added map to map the all fields. And now in a build story page widget, we have to add slide list index. And then I am adding controller. Let's create a controller. Whenever you will add final field, you must have to initialize it. This will initialize our controller. Now let's run the application. Thanks so much. If my content helpful, make sure to subscribe to get more. If you have questions or suggestions, don't forget to comment below.
happy coding